Hi everyone, it's Miss Bowie. Welcome back to art. Today we're going to talk about no tans and you may not know very much about it, but you are going to be a no tan expert in no time. I like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a short presentation on no tans and uh, we'll create one together. And I can't wait to see your art, but first we have to learn what no tans are. So So no tans are the balance of light and dark. Um, the, the easiest example is the yin and the yang. You may have seen this symbol and it's the, the mirror opposite of it, um, but the, the meaning of, of a yin and a yang is the balance. So no tans are the balance of light and dark. And the vocabulary that we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about no tans, you'll understand balance and positive and negative space as well. So no tans um, are originally a Japanese art philosophy or style, and it's the balance of light and dark. And if you look at these um, Japanese pieces of art, you can see that it's, um, you can see the balance of light and dark. It's about half, half dark and half light, um, but they're also using it to create their pictures. And these are much more complex examples of no tans, but I will show you some simpler examples and we'll, we'll talk about it in the following slides. So here you see the hands and you have equal amounts of light and equal amount, an equal amount of dark. Uh, it doesn't have to be in black and white, although a lot of my examples are black and white. This one is in red and pink, and you can see how everything is balanced. Um, for this piece here, has exactly the amount of space as it is over here. And this is very similar to what we're going to be making today. This is also another example. Um, you have the tree here, but this one is just an, an exact mirror image, and it's a tree. This is a much more complex example. If you would like to venture out and try something like this later, you absolutely can. I want you to try the easier ones first, and then if you'd like to explore, then you can try to do something like this. Um, these are also examples of no tans of just the balance of light and dark. Here, there's not exact symmetry, but there's definitely a balance between the black and the white. This is another example. Um, the examples are getting more complex or more complicated, um, more intricate, so that you can see how the balance of light and dark work. Again, it doesn't have to be exact symmetry, but there is that balance of light and dark. And this is more so what we're going to be creating today. Um, I will, you can do anything that you'd like to do. This one looks like it's based on the, um, the cards, the faces of the cards, of playing cards. Um, I'm going to personally be doing mine based on Halloween ideas, but you can really do yours on anything that you'd like. Another thing I'd like to talk about is positive space and negative space. Positive space refers to areas where the subject is. So that's the main idea. What is the main idea of the art? The negative space is the area surrounding the subject. Or in other words, positive space is the main idea while negative space is the background. And we'll look at some examples of positive and negative space. So here, the cat is the main idea. You have all this other stuff, but the cat is the main idea, which makes the cat the positive space. So what I try to do is, um, when I first did this, it was a little confusing to me. So I pictured if you just drew a big X on the main idea, or what is this, what is this painting about? And then I would draw an X on it. So an X is also kind of like a plus sign, which is usually positive. So my my X would go on my cat, which is the positive space, and everything around the cat is the negative space. Here, um, you have different examples of where the positive and the negative space are, and it's the same exact 
idea. It's the same main idea of a house, but you'll see how the space impacts what the, what the art looks like. So here, this is mostly negative space or mostly background and very little subject or the house is very small. The main idea is very small. So here, this makes me feel like they're very alone. There's not a lot of people. It might be a little house on a big farm um, or where they don't have a lot of neighbors. So that's what um, the mostly negative space makes me think of. Here, this says that it's balanced. So you have about the same amount of, um, of the main idea as you do of the background. So this is balanced. This is mostly positive space where it's mostly the subject and very little background. So there's no right way of doing things. It just depends on what idea you're trying to portray. Um, again, if you want to, if the main idea of what you're saying is that you only want to focus on the house or what is in the house, then you'd probably want to do a mostly positive space. Here, if you'd like to focus on the environment or what's in the background, then you would want to do something that's mostly negative. Or if you want to create a feeling of loneliness, um, this would also be a good way of doing it. And here you have it perfectly balanced. So finding out the positive and the negative space, the positive space, what's the main idea? What is this picture mostly talking about? It's mainly talking about the ram um, or the animal that you see here. So he or she would be your positive space. And over here is the negative space. Um, and here they did, uh, they did the same thing. So your goat is still the positive the positive space, but here it's white and here it's black. So they're just showing you that it doesn't mean that, oh, um, the white space is always negative or the white space is always positive. It's your main idea, the subject, the, the, the main picture is your positive space. Here, your positive space would be the climber, the mountain climber, and your negative space would be all this, the mountain and all this around him or, or him or her could be somebody with short hair. Here, your positive space, what's the main idea? What is the subject of this? Um, that would be the tree, the positive space, or if we drew an X on it, that would be the tree. So that's your positive space, and your negative space is um, just the air around it. So again, the vocabulary that we learned about are, today is no tans, which is the balance of light and dark, which is also a Japanese philosophy of art. Balance is having equal amounts of light and dark. Positive space is the main idea. Negative space is the background or everything around the main idea. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do a project based on no tans. And I'm going to use uh, two different colors of paper. You can use, as long as you have two different colors of paper, that's all that matters. They can be any color. I'm choosing, um, I'm choosing black and orange because I'm kind of inspired by Halloween right now. Um, but you can use black and white. A lot of the examples in the slideshow that I used are black and white. Um, but you can use any two colors. Um, it can be anything in your construction paper set, as long as they're different colors. That's the main thing that it needs to be, different colors. So you need to have two sheets of paper that are different colors. You'll also need a pair of scissors, some glue, and a pencil. So now I'm going to go ahead and start my no tan project. So here, my no tan project, um, I have, uh, I have, your, what, the other sheet of paper needs to be smaller, and I'll, I'll remove the orange so that you can kind of focus on that. But what you want to do is you have this imaginary line in the middle of your paper. You try, for your very first no tan, I don't want you to go past that imaginary line in the middle. So again, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do Halloween themed. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do a witch's hat. And when you do this, when you draw, you want to make sure that everything is still connected to that edge, that everything is still connected to that edge. So you don't want to have a space. So I'm connecting that to the edge. So I have a witch's hat. Over here, I think I will have a cat. Okay. 
And I think I will have the cat kind of arching its back. And I have the feet. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I have the feet of the cat um, touching the edge. So again, all your pictures have to be connected to the edge of the paper. So I, I'm going to do over here, I'm going to do a pumpkin. Okay, so again, the bottom of my pumpkin is connected to the edge of the paper. And I have one more that I can do over here. Um, what's another one? You know what, we'll, I'll, we'll do the moon because I always feel like the moon is out. So here's my moon, or actually, you know what, we'll do it like that. So here's my moon. Again, the bottom of my moon is connected to the the paper. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut this out. So when I cut this out, like let's look at my pumpkin. I don't want to cut the stem out. You, the goal is that you're going to cut and you're going to cut so that it's all one piece. You don't want to have a lot of different pieces for your very first notan. Um, after you do your very first notan, if you want to try experimenting and creating some other pieces on the inside, you can. But for now, I just want you to create pieces that are all connected together. And so I have my pumpkin. I have my pumpkin. I'm going to cut out my cat. Well, I'll, I'll leave my cat for last because that one's a little bit trickier. So I have the moon. Oh, I wanted to do a piece of candy. That was what I was wanting to do. But my next note hand, I can do that. So I have my moon, and then I'm going to do my witch's hat. And then I'm going to do my cat. And when you're doing this, it's important that you don't um, that you don't misplace your pieces. So you want to be sure that you're doing this and kind of keeping track of the pieces that you cut out because if you don't have them, that would be a shame. And with no tans, um, the element of art that we're focusing on today is space. Um, again, we have the positive and the negative space. So, okay, so after you do that, you're going to put everything on your paper and you will, you're going to put everything on your paper and you're, it's going to be like a puzzle piece where you put everything back together where you found it. So you kind of put everything back together where you found it and then... Now, here's where the no tan part comes with the light and the, the balance of the light and the dark. So I'm going to take my witch's hat and then I'm just going to flip it over. And then you see that? And then I'm going to take my cat and I'm going to flip it over. And you see that? I'm going to take my pumpkin, I'm going to flip it over. And you see that? And if you need to, just kind of squish things around or move things around. And here I have the moon or part of my moon and then I'm going to flip it over. So um, that's my no tan and here I have it straight. If you want to put it on, if you want to kind of twist your no tan, I think I'm going to do that. I think that looks really interesting right there. If you want to twist it around then you can do that. And then after you have your no tan in a place that you like or you feel comfortable with, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take my glue and I will glue down each of these little pieces. So I really like this. I think this is a fun example. And 
almost there. So I'm going to, whoopsies. Yeah, it's like a puzzle. So when you put it, when you glue it down, you have to make sure that all the pieces are where they need to be so that, whoops, okay. There we go. And then my last piece is going to be this cat. And make sure that it's actually, that it's the same, that it's basically just flipping the same way, okay? Your cat shouldn't be facing this way or this way. It needs to be so that it's the exact mirror image of it. So, put that last piece down. And that is my finished Notan. So, again, okay. So again, this is my finished no tan, and no tans um, are the balance, okay, are the balance of light and dark. Um, and I have the balance here because this kind of reminds me of a, um, a seesaw. And on a seesaw, you have one side going up and one side going down. When everything is balanced, it should just kind of hang like that um, when you have equal, equal amounts of light and dark. And we also have positive space because positive space is the main idea. And on our no tan, our positive space would be these pieces right here because that's the piece that we're talking about. And the negative space is the space around it. Okay, so the positive space. Oops, and I jumped the gun. I talked about the negative space. So um, I can't wait to see all of your note hands. They do not have to be Halloween themed. That's just what I chose. They can be anything you want. It doesn't even have to be anything. It can just be designs. It can just be squiggles. Um, as long as you are flipping it and having the exact mirror image of it. So um, I can't wait to see all of your art. Um, you guys be safe out there. And um, I'll see you next time.